Hello everyone, welcome back here in this new video tutorial in Microsoft Excel. Today we are going to learn how to calculate the sum of values from alternative sales in Excel. Here I have a data of different months and the department wise target and achievement values. And in the N column and O column, I need to calculate the grand total target of all the departments. And here in the O column, I need to calculate the grand total achievement of all the departments so in this case i need to calculate the sum from every alternative sales because if you look into this the target values are given on every alternative sale and the achievement value is also given on every alternative sale and before writing the formula first of all we have to identify whether our value to be added is on even column or in the odd column because in case of even column the formula will be different and in case of the odd column the formula will be different as you see here the target values are given on every even column because this is the second column this is the fourth column this is the sixth column and so on so the target values are in the even column and achievement value are in the odd column so after identifying whether our value is on even column or odd column now let's start writing the formula over here the formula here will be the combination of multiple functions press is equal to then start with the sum product function open bracket in the array one of the sum product select the range of values in this way now give a comma now in the array 2 of the sum product we have to first combine n function open bracket then combine the mod mode function open bracket again combine the column function then open bracket in the reference of the column function select the value range again and if the alternative cell is located in a row we have to use column function here if the alternative cell is located in a column then we have to use the row function that we need to know while using the formula in this case the alternative cells are located in a row so use here a column function now close the bracket then give a comma in this divisor we have to put 2 then close a bracket for mode function then press is equal to 0 then close one more bracket for the n function then close one more bracket for the sum product function after you write this formula here press enter and here you see the grand total target of all the departments is 673 if you manually add all the target value by holding the control key and click on every single values here you see the total is 673 and our formula also calculated 673 now go here in the fill handle drag this down and all the values will be now calculated so this is the way of using formula in case of the even column now let's go here in the odd column in case of odd column the formula will be press equal to type the sum product function bracket open then here in the array one select the value range this way give a comma and in the array 2 we have to directly type the mod mode function here open bracket combine the column function here open bracket in the reference of the column select the value range then close the column function give a comma in the divisor of the mode function type 2 close bracket now directly close the sum product function here the function for odd column is little shorter than the even column now press enter and here you see this is the total achievement if you add every single achievement values from here then here it is 667 and our formula also calculated 667 now go here in the fill handle then drag this down and all the achievement are now calculated so this is the way of calculating the sum of the values from the alternative sales in microsoft excel thank you very much for watching this video we will again meet on next video tutorial